Debra and I'm with Johan Kricke of Karenkop Winery in South Africa. So Karenkop is located where in South Africa? We based about 40 kilometers outside of Cape Town in the small little town of Stellenbosch. Which is so beautiful. Probably one of the leading red wine regions of South Africa. Give me a little history about Karenkop. It's been around for a long time. It's a long time. It's a fourth generation um, family business. Um, my great-grandfather started the business under his son and then um, we are, as I said, the fourth generation. A very much of a sort of a focused approach to business. We only do red wines. We used to do white, Pinot Noir, Sauvignon Blanc, Grand Riesling. And then one day when I started getting involved at university level, studied as a lawyer, I realized that you cannot be married to two women. So it was either <laughs> red wine or white wine. So, so now we're into reds. And I think the soil and the microclimate, etc., lends itself more towards Cabernet Sauvignon and then obviously Pinotage, which is unique South Africa. Could you describe Pinotage? Pinotage, woo, I can say it in two sentences, but I'll keep that for a little bit later. But unique South African, I think if you make Pinotage, remember it's a cross, Pinot Noir, Senso, and if you can try to capture the, 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 the main elements of Pinot Noir, into the, being one of the parents. You can get something which is sort of slightly Pinot Noir, but more earthy, more farmyard, more mineral, minerality on the wine. Something quite unique, but more sort of sweetish flavors on the wine. But something unique South African of which we're very proud of. What brings that smokiness into the wine profile? I think the smokiness probably relates to certain of the regions where it's a little bit more warmer, where we have a little bit more heat, bit more sun and I wouldn't describe it always as smoky but you can taste the sun in the wine and we are a relatively a warmer wine producing region so obviously you're gonna get the smoky more sort of warmer feel to wine you're gonna get it into the wine and how does Stellenbosch differ from Franschuk or Parle? Stellenbosch has got different mountain slopes different sea levels, different microclimates in different pockets and you know you can grow probably more of the red varietals at the lower growing areas and then more sort of white varietals at the higher slopes. So we have this diversity which is beautiful on the one side and it really lends itself to a bigger diversity of wine growing possibilities and we have to pinpoint those aspects and then we can become one of the leading wine producing regions. I have to get this quote which you asked me about Pinotage, yes, you know, what, 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 what Pinotage really is. No. So what, Somebody wrote it on the wall of one of our cellars <laughs> and it goes like this, Pinotage is the juice extracted from women's tongues and lion's hearts. Ooh. After having a sufficient quantity, you can talk forever and fight the devil. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thanks so much.